delighted to welcome to the breakfast show this morning. It is Claire Richards. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Thanks for joining us. No, this thank morning. you for having me. Um, and I believe, first of all, you've got a bit of an announcement for us. I do. It's very exciting. I just um, I found out at the end of last week that I am going to be supporting Celine Dion um, at her British Summertime show in Hyde wow. Park. That's amazing. I know, on the 5th of July. So, I mean, it's just an absolute dream come true. Wow. I just, you know. Matt went to see Celine Dion last week in Vegas. Las Vegas. Did yes, you? I did, at Caesar's amazing. Palace. At the Coliseum. How that? She is incredible. She is incredible. Wow. I mean, I just... You know, she's one of my absolute idols. I grew, you know, when mm. I was a teenager, I just used to listen to her and try and sing like her. And she was one of those. I sang one of her songs at my audition for Steps. I sang one of her songs on tour with Steps before. <laughs> so I'm so thrilled and so thrilled. It's, you know, on top of everything else, it's just the absolute icing on the cake. Fantastic wow. thing to look forward to. Yeah. Yes. Oh, wow. Well, you've got your new album out. Yes. And uh, we're here to talk about your third single, Shame On You, which yeah. is from your album, My Wildest Dreams. Yes. And this single, I know you've been performing it. Mm. Now. Yeah, it's it probably is the most up-tempo song on the album. And one of the <laughs> things that one of the things that I know you've spoken about as well, and I can relate to this, recently turning 40. Yeah. And it is a milestone, whatever people say, these kind of big ages are a milestone. Mm. Do you feel that it's kind of defined what's going to go on with your career next? And has it changed your whole perspective on what you're doing? Oh, absolutely. I think building up to, to the, my 40th, I, I kept kind of thinking, oh, you know, this is something I've always really wanted to do. And if I don't do it now, it's never going to happen. But then also the thought of releasing a debut solo album mm. at the age of 40 is a little... A bit kind of, it's a bit hard to get your head round, really. I never ever thought that that would happen, and I was a bit worried about that age as well. I just, I kind of thought, I can't actually believe I'm going to be 40. But the second I did, it, I don't know. It's really weird. I changed my outlook on everything and just kind of thought, do you know what? I've, I've earned my stripes. I feel like being that age and having the experience in the business that I've had already that. I can stand there and, and not be apologetic for anything and, and just be confident and positive about everything. So, you know, we really did we really did think about when we were choosing songs and I wrote one song on the album, uh, which is called Brave, and that's about my kids. So, it you know, everything is there for a reason. I was going to mention that your kids, you're a mum yeah. and, um, and I guess you're doing a different job to what many of the mums are doing yeah. that you see when you do drop-offs at school and we'll have mums listening this morning who will be doing <laughs> school runs yeah. and taking the kids to school. You're at a similar stage in life, but doing something entirely different. Yeah. What do the kids think about what you're doing, and what do they think about the music? Um, they're a bit, they're kind of used to it, I suppose, because they've grown up with it, and especially over the last few years with Steps. But um, they really like it. So, of course, at the end of last year, you capped it off with some shows. Yes. It must be quite nice after you know all the songs having them to actually perform them and yeah. you know, getting people to sing along or just to see you live. Really. Yeah, it's nice. I think. Um, because it was a bit more of a showcase for the album, I, you know, I mixed it in with a couple of step songs and mm. I did a few covers and I didn't do the whole album, but I did quite a lot of it. Mm. So it was nice to, to see reactions when people actually hadn't heard the yeah. songs at all. I think that's always a bit of a risk. Uh, you've done a couple of reality shows, including Pop Star to Opera Star as yeah. well, and Faye has recently been on Strictly Come Dancing. Mm. Yeah. Any more plans to do reality shows, Claire? Um, not at the moment. But I don't know. See, Strictly is probably only the only other one that I would ever want to do or be interested in doing. I mean, obviously, now Faye has done it and she did so well. I'm not entirely <laughs> sure I would, <laughs> I would want to embarrass myself. <laughs> but, um, yeah, who knows? We'll see. We'll see. We've got to ask about Steps as well. And, of course, you got together recently. Yeah. Um, you've been performing. You've had more great music out. What are the next plans for Steps? We are going to start recording a new album this summer. Um, so, yeah, we are ongoing. It is, it's, we've had such a good time on the last tour and the, the album did so well that we just thought, you know what, we actually quite like this now. So we're going to keep going. So hopefully that'll be out maybe spring next year. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure <laughs> to speak amazing, to yeah. you. Yeah, and uh, you. we love the new music. Please, could you introduce us now your new single, Claire? Okay, I'm Claire Richards and this is my brand new single, Shame On You. 